Impossible. Pain! Fear! Terror! Reconsider! There. At last. It is subdued. Spare me. Join me. Wield me. Become absolute! And thus, I honor my mother's legacy. The grand design, once again, ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then, gravity.
Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. I should have learned to bloody swim. Can't believe I almost drowned at the last hurdle. <sighs> My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We're free of that stupid parasite. And I'm free to enjoy all the power Kazador left me. And the worm squirms no more. Who need not worry that his seat on my skull will grow suddenly stickier with Mind Flayer juice? Ah, forgive me, Sk. It has been said that his mouth sometimes frolics in fields far ahead of his mind. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this form. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the astral seas, while I still have one to call my own. in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator.
The Githyanki are departing in peace. Curious sight and a day already full of them. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. And once I have, I'll take it to Mistra. Perhaps with this offering, she'll finally cure me of the affliction of the orb. Regardless, it's the right thing to do. That's good enough for me. A wise man learns from his mistakes and strives not to repeat them. I shall bring the crown to Mistra. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure a summons from Mistra will appear soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory as mortals do best. Eh? With a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. Now you're talking. After all that, I think I'll need a drink in each hand and a third on the table. But I think right of choosing should fall to you. What'll it be? After a drink or five, I'll be tempted to inflict some of my singing on you all. As if the city has not suffered enough. A lot of people died so we could get to this moment. Let's go find somewhere to offer them a toast. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. You can't. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with people who love you, as Ariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. All right. All right. 
We have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. Thank the gods you've seen since. Come. To Avernus we go. Our next adventure awaits. It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zariel's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, there was you lot. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out, just get rid of them. And don't forget... You asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. Faces gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. 